What's up, peeps? It's your boy K Seal coming to you live from Trustville, Alabama. Wanted to get my thoughts real quick on the Antonio Brown trade. I think we all can agree that Antonio Brown won this ordeal. The Steelers took a, a terrible L, considering they they've lost they've already lost Le'Veon Bell. It basically gave Antonio Brown away third and the fifth round pick. Pick number 66 and pick number 142. They'll use that pick hoping to receive a Le'Veon Bell and an Antonio Brown, which we all know they will not. It took a serious L. So I think that goes without debate. I think that's the general consensus about this whole Antonio Brown, Pittsburgh Steelers saga. But I want to talk to you about not the trade itself, but how it got done. I don't think Antonio Brown is a good dude. I'm not an Antonio Brown fan. I think he's talented. So I have no, no dog in this fight. I'm not a Steelers fan. But for a while, I found myself like, dang, what is this dude doing? He's all over the place. You know, and I understand the things that he does, the different colors of his hair, the different hairstyle every time you see him, the social media thing that he does, you know, just fighting for attention. But then I realized this dude is a freaking genius. In all the major sports, NFL players have had the least amount of say in the places they go, the thing they do, the, the contracts they sign. NFL players have had no power. Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell recently have shown the NFL, hey, if I manage my money correct, if I'm great at my, my craft, I can control my own destiny. And although I'm not an Antonio Brown fan, I applaud him. Well done, Antonio Brown. These are the things that we all know NBA players have been doing for years. Antonio Brown has given NFL players the blueprint. Is the blueprint original? Of course not. What's the most popular album out called the blueprint it's jay-z's was his the first nope krs1 dropped one ask Nas about that one <laughs> antonio brown has shown the nfl i can market myself i can manage my money i can save my money i can buy everything cash and once i establish myself as being great I can control my own destiny. I remember the first time I heard about this. This is when the Lakers was trying to get rid of Shaq. They were trying to trade him for Jermaine O'Neal from the Indiana Pacers. And I remember reading rumors, of course. You know, this was before social media was big. Shaq informed the Indiana Pacers, yeah, you can trade for me. I got one more year on my deal, that's fine. But I'm going to have surgery and I'm not playing for you guys. I remember reading that like, dang, Shaq is a business man. Controlled his own destiny. They traded him to Miami, no surgery, played, eventually won a championship. Antonio Brown is following that blueprint. The NBA that has laid out and he's given it to the NFL players. Well done, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown has an estimated net worth of $30 million. You saw in the interview that he did, he's paid all cash for his possessions and he doesn't need the NFL. And trust me, if that wasn't true, he wouldn't have the leverage that he had. 
to pull this Oakland Raiders deal off. Which, by the way, will be in Vegas. And you think if you think his marketing has has been good, you wait till he get to Vegas. Vegas is dying to have an NFL team. It's gonna be a perfect marriage as long as his production keeps up. Another thing he's shown the NFL: money isn't everything. Money isn't everything. My happiness outweighs the check that you're giving me. So when the Buffalo Bills tried to trade for him, Antonio Brown pulled a Shaquille O'Neal. I ain't playing for you. I don't need the money. Now, the NFL has been known for doing background checks, private investigators, and everything else that they, that they need to do to, to know exactly what their players are up to and what their situations are. If Antonio Brown was bluffing, they would have traded for him anyway because they knew he would have needed the money. That's why I believe Antonio Brown has been telling the 100% truth. I can care less about what he's done with Ben Roethlisberger. The fact that you know he hasn't shown that he cares enough for Mike Tomlin to keep his mouth shut and be a good soldier. Antonio Brown has laid out the blueprint for NFL players and NFL owners are shook over it. Now, mind you, now just anybody can't pull this off. You have to be great. And it's the same way in the NBA. You have to be great to pull these things off. But now, NFL players are taking their destiny in their own hand. This is a brutal sport. You don't get guaranteed money. They cut you at the drop of a hat. They make you take salary cuts at the drop of a hat. That's over. That's over for the smart player. That is over. And I applaud Antonio Brown for it. And I hope other players from this point forward, follow that blueprint. Because that's the way it should be done. Control your own destiny. Be smart about your money. And when it's time to, to think about the happiness of you and your family, then you do what you have to do. But if you're living from paycheck to paycheck, if you're making it rain in the club every night, then I'm sorry, you'll never be in this position. Antonio Brown has shown you guys the way. Take advantage. Take advantage.